the PENG block or the pericapsular nerve group block. This is a recently described block for the management of analgesia following fracture neck of femur. Currently, the analgesia options for fracture neck of femur include the femoral nerve block, the fascia iliaca block, and then the three in one block. At best, their analgesic effect is modest. That is because they have variable consistency in blocking the three components of the lumbar plexus, which includes the femoral nerve, the obturator nerve, and the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. They are most consistent in blocking the femoral nerve, less consistent in blocking the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh, and very rarely block the obturator nerve. Even in recent MRI-based studies, uh, these blocks barely ascend above the level of L5 and hence are unable to block the obturator nerve in its entirety. Until recently, this interesting study by uh, Short and Peng from uh, Toronto uh, looked at the innovation of the anterior hip capsule from which the vast majority of the pain arises. The hip joint, the anterior capsule of the hip joint is consistently supplied by three main nerves, which are articular branches, which come from the femoral nerve, the accessory obturator nerve, and then the obturator nerve as such. Interestingly, the femoral nerve and the obturator nerve contributed to 100% of the capsule, but the accessory obturator nerve was identified only in 54% of the cases. And what's more even interesting is that the femoral nerve has got high branches, which is defined as branches above the inguinal ligament, and the obturator nerve also has high branches, which are branches given proximally in the obturator canal. So the high branches were identified in 54% and 31% of the cases. This probably could explain why the fascia iliaca and femoral nerve blocks uh, or three-in-one blocks at best have modest clinical effect in, in blocking or giving analgesia for uh, fracture neck of femurs. What they also identified was the consistent relationship of the high branches of the femoral and the obturator nerves to bony landmarks. So the femoral and the accessory obturator nerve the articular branches always past the gap between the anterior inferior iliac spine and the iliopubic eminence, whereas the obturator high and the low branches were related to the inferior medial acetabulum. Subsequently, the same authors uh, invented the new block, which is called as the pericapsular nerve group block or the PENG block. Uh, to provide analgesia for hip fractures, which blocks the articular branches, the high articular branches of the femoral and the accessory obturator nerve. It's very difficult to say whether they block even the branches of the obturator nerve by passing under the pectineus. Before we go ahead, we need to know the uh, anatomical structures that's involved. Uh, this is a bony pelvis. We need to know about the anterior inferior iliac spine, the iliopubic eminence, and then the superior pubic ramus. If a transducer is placed across the anterior inferior, the anterior inferior iliac spine, above which lies the sartorius, and medial to it lies the iliopsoas, and above which lies the femoral nerve and uh, the femoral artery more medially. As the transducer the foot and the medial end of the transducer is rotated to face the pubic ramus. Structures that we are going to see are the three bony structures will be the anterior inferior iliac spine, the pubic ramus, and the iliopubic eminence in between, with the femoral artery lying above the iliopubic eminence. The authors went on to describe the block where the needle tip was placed between the psoas tendon and the pubic ramus uh, with a curvilinear probe 
and injected 20 mils of 0.25% propivacaine or 0.5% propivacaine with adrenaline and they found a significant drop in the uh, dynamic pain scores in a small case series of uh, five patients. We'll show a video of uh, how the uh, block is being done. So uh, again, to reiterate the points, the anterior inferior ilex spine, the iliopubic eminence, and then the superior pubic ramus are identified. The needle is then placed on either the iliopubic eminence or in the in the fascial plane between the psoas tendon and then the pubic ramus. That's where the end point of the needle is, and 20 mils of local anesthetic is injected. And uh, the block was tested half an hour later, and uh, the dynamic pain scores were significantly improved in these patients. This is a video showing how the block is done. So we could see the anterior inferior iliac spine, slight probe angulation gives the uh, view of the acetabulum. So the needle is made in contact with the superior pubic ramus, the femoral artery is seen pulsating above, and then after careful aspiration, 20 mils of local anesthetic is injected in the musculofacial plane between the pubic ramus. Here we could see the local anesthetic in the musculofacial plane between the pubic ramus and the psoas tendon and the femoral artery is pulsating above. This is another similar video. The needle is passed. It's, it is in contact with the iliopubic eminence in between the anterior inferior ilex spine and the iliopubic eminence. And after bony contact, local anesthetic is injected. Both the patients in this case studies had significant pain relief and they required no post-operative analgesia. Uh, and had a light general anesthetic for a fraction of femur correction. Thank you.